This course is sponsored by the Bob Woodruff Foundation. We would like to thank the Bob Woodruff Foundation for their generosity in making this course possible. An important aspect in support of and care for service members, veterans, their families, caregivers, and survivors is collaboration between and among individuals as well as organizations at the community level. The act of bringing people together to the collaborative table has many benefits. Most notably, the inclusion of representatives who come with unique knowledge, passion, and collectively a big picture view of the situation. Welcome to this course entitled The Collaborative Table, Who to Invite and How to Engage. I'm Blake Bourne, former Army Infantry Officer and now the Executive Director of Veterans Bridge Home. During this course, I'll be sharing some guidelines on building an effective collaboration group and talking about ways to engage stakeholders. It is important to be clear, direct, and transparent about your purpose when embarking upon your efforts to involve community members. As you build your collaborative table, make sure to incorporate community involvement throughout the planning process. This ensures that everyone has a say in the designing and implementing of solutions. The participation of veterans and their families can be an integral part of a data-driven process to achieve better results. Allowing members of the veteran community to own and help produce that result will lead to greater impact. A successful collaboration with the veteran community and its members requires assurance that the process is inclusive and able to meet any challenges presented. Here are some of the important attributes of a successful collaborative table that often lead to positive engagement within the community. Influential champions. Leaders within the community provide this important role. These are people who have respect of other stakeholders and can impact changes such as knowledge and behavior or policy within their current veteran space. Cross-sector representation. Ensuring that all sectors are represented around the table and have a voice in the process is vital to success. This includes nonprofits, philanthropy, municipal, county, and even state governments, as well as the business sector. Content expertise. These are members who are familiar with the subject matter and can contribute to the conversation. For example, veteran service providers, both government and nonprofit. Veteran service organizations, military service organizations, county veteran service officers, local veterans affairs representatives, medical and long-term health care professionals, local colleges and universities, legal and financial representatives, and local employment and career services. Context expertise perspectives of those who have experience with or are affected by an issue, such as military veterans and their family members, can be a vital piece in finding solutions to challenges they face. Passion and urgency. Passion about important challenges combined with the urgency for the need to affect change keeps the collaboration on track and ensures that issues do not become abandoned. Focus on the greater interest. The ability to think and act in the greater interest of the community is vital to collaboration and ensures that solutions do not have a negative impact. Commitment. Members must be able to commit time and energy to meetings and the collaborative work required in fulfilling the duties and responsibilities of membership. Reliable participants provoke trust and a cooperative energy in the group. Beyond those positive attributes, you should also avoid the following traits. Too much agreement. Too much disagreement or existing hostility. People who are not able to listen to others. People who can't leave their egos at the door. People who polarize. People who can only come to the table because they think there will be funding. People who are too busy to put in the time and effort. There are several roles that participants can take on when you bring them to a collaborative planning table. These include leadership. Participants will provide strategic direction for the initiative and champion the work. 
veteran collaborative leaders and co-chairs of collaboratives should have a passion for this role. Strategy development. Here, participants review research on effective strategies within a local context and external best practices. This data is then used to inform identification of strategies and ongoing refinement. Implementation. Participants will coordinate activities among relevant partners and identify resources to support and or execute collaborative strategies. There are several reasons why you should prioritize authentic community engagement in your collaboration. Community engagement is about ensuring that the veteran population has a say in designing and implementing solutions. The participation of your veteran population can be an integral part of data-driven processes to achieve better results while producing a shift in power where collaborative members own and help produce the result that will lead to greater impact. Prioritizing authentic community engagement allows you to better understand the pressing systemic community challenges and clarify questions that arise about the challenge. It also facilitates the ability to co-create solutions, sparking innovative problem solving rooted in the lived experience of the community. This also helps to identify and spread unique solutions that exist within the community. Prioritizing community engagement will also verify the direction of the collaborative journey as you get feedback on specific strategies and indicators from selected communities, particularly those who will be the ultimate beneficiaries. Another benefit to community engagement is the ability to expand the reach of strategies and evoke aligned action. Lastly, authentic community engagement can build community capacity to lead and sustain change. According to the International Association of Public Participation and the Tamarack Institute, collaborative engagement activities exist on a spectrum across several levels. Level one, inform. At this level, engagement is merely informing the public with objective information and helping them understand the problem, alternatives, and or solutions. Examples of this include newsletters, either paper or email, and newspaper press releases. Level two, consult. The consult level involves gathering feedback from targeted stakeholders about the issues, goals, processes, shared metrics, or strategies. Collaborative leaders should consider including organizations that can impact the veterans population, such as banks, credit unions, mortgage providers, and financial counseling services benefit service providers, church and faith groups, colleges, universities, and trade schools, community foundations and philanthropy, employment and transition service providers, food banks, government representatives and agencies, healthcare, mental health, and occupational health providers, housing services, libraries, legal services, local military posts and bases, mentoring and peer-to-peer -peer organizations, military service organizations, nonprofit service providers, police, fire, and emergency services, school systems, senior centers and home care providers, veterans affairs representatives and county veteran service officers, veteran service organizations, and volunteer organizations. While this listing is not all-inclusive, collaborative leaders should assess their communities and look to consult with and include organizations to create both awareness and involvement to activate your collaborative's goals. Level three, involve. At this level, instead of gathering feedback, getting stakeholders directly involved with the process ensures their voice will be heard. Inviting them to join the working groups or participate in advisory capacity will result in greater understanding and inclusion of their unique skills and organizational contributions. Ensuring all voices are heard will strengthen your solutions. Level four, collaborate. The objective in this level is to partner with stakeholders in each aspect of the decision, including the development of alternatives and priorities. Level five, empower. The ultimate level of engagement is the ability to make final decisions on issues that lead to the implementation of solutions. Engagement increases substantially from buy-in to ownership. On the left-hand side, engagement is limited to mobilizing people to either support the process or provide limited input and or feedback to decisions. On the right side, engagement is much more robust. By organizing people to identify their interests and assets, they become the decision makers, the outcome producers, and the advocates and leaders for collaborative impact for military, 
veterans, their families, caregivers, and survivors within the community. It is about shifting power to the community. It's not always necessary, appropriate, or within your capacity to practice collaborative or empowering approaches, but you should push your assumptions and comfort to move as far right as appropriate. Moving to the right on the community engagement spectrum means giving up power, because this work is not about your individual influence, but about community results and collaboration for impact in the veteran space and the betterment of your community. It is essential that wherever you are on this spectrum, you must be clear and transparent about your position and fulfill the promises of being there. It's important to be transparent about how much power you are willing to give or share, regardless of the size of your community. Supporting the success of military and veteran families is a collective responsibility. No single entity can own this. As you can see, Bringing the right people to the collaborative table is critical to creating an open and transparent process. Supporting those who bring positive attributes and trying to avoid negative traits of this group process should be an important goal. Make sure everyone understands the roles of leadership, strategy development, and implementation, and how they interact with the goals of the group. As you embark on this journey, strive to reach the collaboration and empowerment levels on the spectrum of community engagement. In this case, the veteran population within the communities you serve are knowledgeable in both content and context and need to occupy seats at the table. Thank you for taking the time for this course. I hope you found the information helpful in your work towards bringing military, veterans, their families, caregivers, survivors, and resources together for the benefit of our communities. Thank you for taking the time to learn about this important topic and about our nation's military, veterans, and their family members. If you have any questions about this course or need assistance, please visit the PsychArmor website or call the PsychArmor support line at 844-779-2427.